You know what? Space is awe-inspiring. And it also inspires lots of different theories and hypotheses. Not all of them are good. So there's a guy named Emanuel Velikovsky. He was a psychiatrist and an author. And in 1950, he published a book called Worlds in Collision, in which he proposed some original ideas about astronomy and the history of our solar system. Here was his idea. An enormous mass collides with Jupiter and Venus springs out almost like a comet and starts zipping around the solar system, including making a few really close passes at Earth, causing some biblical catastrophe catastrophes, thus being the source of those. Here are a few minor problems with his idea. First, it violates the laws of physics, which is, generally speaking, a no-no. There was also no proof of it as far as geology is concerned. There's no evidence there. And Venus is made of very different stuff than Jupiter, so this one was pretty much universally panned. All right, so it's the mid-1990s, and a lady in Wisconsin named Nancy Leader gets online, joins a forum, and posts a shocking revelation. She says that she was visited by aliens, and they communicate with her through these implants they left in her, and they've warned her about a planet, Planet X, that is going to come into our solar system near the closest planets to the sun and really muck things up, causing huge amounts of devastation. Well, no. Astronomers point out that if anything planet size were to come remotely close to us, we would have more than a decade's worth of warning because we would see it from really far away. So, so far, so good. This isn't so much a theory as it is an incorrect observation. If you look up at the moon, it looks like the same face is always facing you. So it looks like the moon's not rotating, but it actually is. It's in a synchronous rotation with the Earth. So more or less, the same side is always pointing toward us. But it does, in fact, rotate. Now, this also means that there is no permanent dark side of the moon. One side of the moon's always going to be dark, but since it rotates, all sides get light. Still love Pink Floyd, though. This one is pretty crazy. An engineer named Hans Herbiger proposed in 1913 that perhaps the reason we have water is because eons ago, a wet star collided with a hot star, and the wet star exploded, sending water vapor throughout the entire universe, some of it condensing and freezing into big chunks of ice. And in fact, hailstorms aren't a meteorological effect in that sense. Instead, it's actually a meteorite storm coming from space. And yeah, this one was also pretty much universally panned. The Nazis seem to like it, though. This one's a little understandable. A pulsar is a rotating neutron star, and it's kind of like a lighthouse in space. It's got a beam of light that rotates around. So when we observe a pulsar, we see flashes of light at regular intervals, which seems like it's actually a message. But there's no real complex information there. There's no structure. It's just a flashing light. So I'm sorry, pulsars are not aliens attempting to talk to us. So what is your favorite crackpot theory about space or science or nature? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe to our channel to get more What The Stuff. And if you want to know more, you should read 10 crackpot theories about space at HowStuffWorks.com. I'm dead inside.